So, hey, I'm Steve. <laughs> and I'm Drew. <laughs> and we have a special guest here special today. Special guest, very special. We actually scoured the interwebs and the we found interwebs. We found our one hater. I know. And his name is Seth. So hi Seth. Hi, Hello Seth. guys. Hi Seth. Hi. Hi. Seth. Thanks for coming to the show. Um, so let's dive right in. Yes. What exactly do yeah, you? Why do you hate us? Yeah. Why do you hate us? One, the intro is always too long. Uh, um, Steve is a boomer. Oh, intro hater. Yeah. He is a boomer. A, I am. Mm-hmm. I'm not a boomer. <laughs> uh, you guys kind of babble on about stu- some some stupid things. Not always. Mm-hmm. Like okay. Guitar. That was a good story. Great story. Yeah. Great story. Yeah. Yeah. Great, great but, instrument. But you haven't missed an episode, really. I mean, no. You, uh, no. He is the best hater to have. I'm yeah. pretty sure the only person ever to watch every single one of your episodes. One, so all you fans out there that think you're fans, mm-hmm. you could learn something from a hater. From a hater. Yeah. So Which is dope. I want to make sure this doesn't block your mug. His, his mug. I'm sure. <laughs> his, his, his I'm face. sure as our one and only his hater, he's going to have his mug, own fans. Mug is boomer for face, right? <laughs> or, or it's just mug for mug. Blessed. Uh, hashtag blessed. Most hashtag overused blessed. hashtag ever. Blessed. I don't know if you've noticed. I don't know if you've noticed. Strange seeing you there. <laughs> I've whenever I've used any hashtags on our hashtags, yeah, it's always hashtag waymaker, then hashtag miracle worker, then hashtag promise keeper, then hashtag light in the darkness, then hashtag my god, that is who you are. Lyrics wow. from Waymaker, yeah, the best worst song ever written. I just spit everywhere. So I'll I'll actually uh I'll, I will give a boomer moment here. A couple years ago, I was reading something off of Facebook to my wife, somebody's post, and they had a whole bunch of hashtags. And I kept saying hash mark, hash mark. Oh. <laughs> and apparently that's something that happens in your underwear when you're out of toilet paper, which is actually <laughs> happening right now in our country. Toil- <laughs> toilet paper is the great TP <laughs> shortage of America. This is how America who crumbles. Thought, who would have thought 2020 was Charmin? Gonna... Yeah. Charmin. See, so this is probably the rambling that you hate, yes. right? This is I, this is the part that you just don't like. So what would you like? Who, to talk would, about who so? would like this? Like what? That's a question. What? Who, what is your ideal podcast? Who like wants what? to hear you guys? Make exactly. Who this? wants? Who are you? Twenty subscribers out there. Who are you? 17. Well, one of them's you. Actually, and a couple of them are me. <laughs> <laughs> and none of them are Drew. <laughs> Which totally, totally hurt me. I, I was, just, I well, just found out last episode good. that Drew doesn't even subscribe. To our I don't because I don't want our. I was like, I don't want to be swayed by how many people like us. You don't want to skew and our Steve's numbers. Like, yeah, I got five accounts that are us. Uh, four or five. I don't know. So I, Steve likes us abundantly much. Has way more. I, I'm just trying to pump our numbers I, up I there. I will say so, our views you know, are a lot more than. What our subscriber count is. So if you're yes. not subscribed, s- subscribe. Just subscribe. Click the button. I mean, that's all you got to do, people. How do, how do your favorite YouTubers plug themselves? Uh, they just say subscribe. There's nothing way more to it. No, there's got to be. There's got to. There, what's the trick to get a million followers? There are people who will say subscribe every 10 minutes. There are people who will say, if I do this, you have to subscribe and they'll fake do it. Okay. So it's if not- I tell all our people out there, like, if I shave my head... <laughs> you will subscribe. <laughs> or if Drew shaves his head, how about if Seth shaves his head? You Ooh, wouldn't do that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't make. I wouldn't make. Seth Seth I think that. for fifty subscribers, Seth would shave. Fifty his head. subscribers, I will shave Steve's beard. Oh, I've been growing it out. Ooh, I've been growing Ooh. it out. I've been trying to do a little. Ooh, uh, Ooh. that's a good one. That's a that's a new sound Duck effect Dynasty that, thing. that came out of my mouth instead of Ooh. sheesh. Now, that's, sheesh. Ooh, now I'm an owl. Ooh. Yeah. As in, who doesn't want And to? actually, our production <laughs> crew just did this really lit um, promo. It's like a minute long. It's dank. And Drew hasn't even watched that. <laughs> nope. And I texted him the link. Now I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> what you did? Yeah, it's in the Wolfpack chat. Oh. I feel like he's more of a hater than I am. Yeah, yeah I sent it last night. I, it's not a hatred for myself. It's I don't want to get too big for my britches. You know oh, what I'm saying? Course. Right. Fame does dings to people, and I don't want to be like Justin Bieber. Of course. So you're, you're yeah. a little young to know Justin Bieber when he went off the deep end. I've never yeah. heard of him. Never heard of Justin Bieber. I know, but my entire life. I know. Have you heard of Joe Young? This guy. I have. Joe Young is amazing. Yeah. yeah. Only yeah. Good part about Look at show. this. He has to say so that. So wait a minute. 
So you actually hate this podcast, but you love Joey Young. Joey Young is the only good part about this podcast, yes. Oh my god. Wow. Yes, very much. He actually tried to do a hostile, hostile takeover. <laughs> <laughs> New t shirt. Whoa. There is a YouTuber <laughs> that everybody knows, but I'm not gonna say his name because I got in trouble for saying for plugging people. And yeah. um he says, subscribe or I'll delete your Fortnite account. Oh, um, or subscribe or I'll delete your Minecraft account. Now, for older people like myself, and Steve, we didn't get you playing video games yet, but no. that's that's in the future. Minecraft is more important to me than Fortnite is. Would you agree with that, Seth? I know you're a big video game guy. I'm a big fan of Minecraft, yes. Okay. That's good. That happened last time. That's okay. He's still got some wavelengths. See, there it is. See? Hmm? Check. No, that's okay. Ah. That's okay. He's still got wavelengths. It's possible that he's That's good. Yes. All right. So. Just want to make sure we can hear our guest. So, Seth, I know know you're a big video game guy. And um, uh, so what are your thoughts? What do you you play? Uh, I'm a big fan of FPS games and RPG games. Like what? I play Skyrim a lot still. I never played Skyrim. Really? Yeah. I hear it's like really good and I it's probably like against me. But um there it is. Like uh I don't think so. It's still going. I we're we're literally this happened last time. I know. Now it's time for the, the meme, the Simpsons. Oh boy. <laughs> oh now I'm back. Now he's back. <laughs> now I'm back. That. Okay, so we're not doing that then. We're back. So Skyrim. Skyrim yes, was like a cult following that I never played. Got to so, get into it. Is it that good? Is it really, it really that good? Is. Yes, 100%. Because it's been out for a while. It's a great name, Skyrim. Skyrim. Okay, yes. okay, boomer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm it's just like kidding. I love you all. of the sky. I love all of you boomers. Actually, we have some fans that are boomers, so I know. let's not insult the boomers. I'm not. I'm not. It's, it's a pop culture reference. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, yes. So it's not. It's, it's a pop culture reference. So, okay, yeah. Skyrim. I know you're a big Brawlhalla guy. We I talked about that. I love Brawlhalla. So, Brawlhalla. Steve, do you know what Super Smash Bros. is? Mario Brothers? Yes. Oh, I mean, kind of. Super Smash Bros., it's like a fighting game where they take Mario characters. And different really? kind of characters, and you, you fight against each other. That's kind of what Brawlhalla is, That's if I'm not mistaken, right? mean. Yes, uh, Brawlhalla is like Super Smash Bros., but without everything being a signature attack, there's a lot of light attacks and a little bit more to it, a little bit less. It depends on who you are. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, so I've been playing that a little bit late, lately. It's good. I like it. I'm getting there. You're, let's just, we're gonna get. We're gonna figure out a way to get you set up. I got this this game I've been playing lately. It's called. Oh boy. I, I play it a lot. It's called Waymaker. Oh, great! So best best worship song ever written. I yeah. gotta. I gotta guess. It's more than a worship song. It's also a video game now. <laughs> so, <Basically. yeah. laughs> and an action figure. <laughs> and uh, it's also a nightlight. <laughs> <laughs> and it's also a midnight snack. <laughs> so speaking, speaking of, of I snacks, that, yeah. <laughs> so our producer lady, we got some crackers. She has she took it upon herself to venture to the store and put together a list of you know a, a buffet of treats for us today, a knowing that buffet as some people a buffet. Say. And so they're all numbered, and I actually know what each number is, but I can't tell you guys. I don't know what it is. Do you know what it is? Absolutely not. Oh, nice. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to... That's a lot of food. This is dripping. That's that's, that's slang nowadays for awesome. So first up, (laughs) we're going to have some of this. Nasty. So I'm going to scoop some onto my plate. Of course. And then I will allow each of you to scoop some of that onto you your plate. Quick. You go real quick. You want? Okay. Yeah. Do it. Fork on the left. Oh, what look is, at what is there, this? There it is. Okay. BYO chopsticks. This guy's got chopsticks. I'm not using your guys' utensils. I don't know what you did to him. Wow. Look at this Whoa. guy. Here you go, sir. So I'm scoop a little of that real quick. What is it? So I'll tell you after we eat it. Okay. Sounds good. So on the count of three. Just a uh, yeah, setter over there. Mm. Sorry about that. I'm sure that was loud in someone's ears. Eating grass with chopsticks. And one, two, three, go. Yeah, I'm getting all of it. Hold up. Got some in my beard. ASMR. That was awesome. So, that is what is called seaweed salad. That was awesome. So next time I was going to say that tastes. Next time you're swimming in a lake. And you see that stuff wrapping around your ankle, just pull some up and eat on it. Think I won't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this next item, we need a cracker, I think. I'm going to want a cracker. Okay. So I'm going to hand you. Oh. Let me go. 
Oh, I'm going to uh, just scoop some of that real quick. What? I have hmm. chopsticks, guys. There you go. You may need the fork at least to get it onto your plate. Yeah, I'm going to take it. And I need a cracker. Put on there and I'll try to pick up other I'm going to use, I'm gonna use the spoon in. to scoop stuff onto my plate because... Actually, wait, don't matter if I use the fork because they're all separated. They are. I was thinking of being health conscious because, you know, there's a health crisis going on at the moment. Um, <laughs> thank you. Like All right, cutting. so I'm going to take a little of this and put it on my... I'm going to put the whole thing on my cracker. Yes, sir. Listen, that's the only way to do it. Seth, do you have any any guesses of what this is while Steve eats that? Absolutely I mean, not. this might actually be the intestines of an animal. Nah. This could be... Nah. So, so Steve, you eat it, and I'm going to say what my guess is while Steve's munching. Mm. I think it's applesauce. It looks like applesauce. I don't know if you could see it. That's more or less what I was thinking. Uh oh. There's no way I'm going to be able to do this. That's I don't bad. think you That's can do it. Wait, I was, just, I was think, I'm just gonna I go. Oh, he did it. He's doing it. Mmm. I think it's pretty good. I'm not that much of a fan. So, that is onion jam. That's actually pretty good. Jam made from onions. That's actually pretty good. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I've, I've I grown. Know. Spread a that lot. on your toast a little bit. No. I am not that big of a fan of much foods. I'm a very picky eater. Now, no. that, I, I think I know what that is. I'm actually fairly confident I know what that Next is. Next up. This makes me happy. We should probably show them. Or... Oh, geez. Okay. I can't really. I don't That's know if okay. you can see this. Okay, you want to grab one? Do you want me to take the bigger one, Seth? It of looks course. like an ice cube with black dots in it. I'm going to guess what this is. What are you going to guess? Dragon fruit. That was a good guess. Oh, do you want me to say it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, well, no. I'll, I'll eat it first. Let's eat it. Wow. While I'm guessing, you're supposed to. Yeah, eat so it. that's um, so you're in fact correct. Yes, dragon fruit. How did you know that was dragon? Fruit? So I don't know much about any fruits for the <laughs> longest time. My friends still make fun of me for this. My coworkers, because like peaches, pears. What's the difference? <laughs> so like, <laughs> so I had no idea. So one day, my buddy's like, "Yo, I, I got this. My mom got me this dragon fruit. You ever have?" And I was like, "Of course, I haven't had a dragon fruit. I don't know the difference right. between a peach and a pear, <laughs> right?" <laughs> True story. And it comes up and it looks awesome. Oh, the outside looks amazing. It looks like she awesome. already cut it up. But. So when we looked at it, we opened it up. We're like, wow, it looks like little black mm. beads in the fruit. So then we had it and it was really good. Yeah. That's, that's that's literally the only exotic fruit that I know. Okay. Everything else. Well, you you nailed it. You nailed it. As soon as I see it, I'm like, oh, yeah. Ooh. Okay. We're on to number four. How many are there? This looks big. There's nine. Wow. Oh, what is this? I don't have to eat dinner, so that's good. I mean, this looks raw. Whatever it is. Raw and uh, bloody. Dude. Raw and bloody. Nah. It looks like... It's pretty thick. It might be a human heart. I don't know. I don't think they sell that. <laughs> At Wegmans? Maybe we were in China. Okay. Down the hatch. I'm going to... I got to take a guess. I'm not... I don't even know. Nah. Mm. Wow. Come on. That's like super juicy. Seth, thoughts? That tastes salty to me. Do you think it's a meat or Absolutely a not. fruit or that a vegetable? A vegetable. That's my guess. Is it a beet? It actually is a beet. A hey, a good I never had I mean, beets before. It kind of looks like I've, raw tuna, like sushi, but it doesn't taste I've never. It. So, full disclosure, I've never had beets before, but I've seen them. So uh, You can't say that anymore. Now, I'm a beet kind of sore. Okay, this next one is fun. It's fun. Mm. If it's gas station sushi, I'm wait a minute, it. wait a minute, wait a minute. I've. I, I turned five? my head from it so I couldn't see it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. You're like picking up the answers up. So we each, oh, we each get one of these bad boys. I really don't like where this is going. Mm. You said you'd eat whatever. I, I hate to. You know, that's what you get for being a hater. I think I know what this is. Actually, no, I don't. Like the podcast okay. or you'll get punished. Oh, boy. Okay, so... <laughs> so <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> just to let you know, I think Jesus probably ate these. 
<laughs> you should probably go check that. <laughs> we just heard a really loud ding in Low our key, ear. the computer's Somebody's at the door up. or something. Oh, dear. Uh, you got to eat it, my man. I know. This needs some hot sauce. Yeah. It does not taste like it. Or it smells like good. Taste is actually 70% smell. Or more than that. It might be more than that. True. I'm actually pretty sure they're two different senses. No, 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 no. It's like <laughs> All right, a, down the hatch. I learned, I learned whole that. Thing, man, whole thing, man. Whole thing. Down the hatch. You can it. do it. You can do it. You can do it. Ooh. That's horrendous. Ooh. He's like, he really wants to. Sp- That's where the napkin's for, bro. Mm-mm. Okay. I'm gonna- Has a terrible first taste. Not a terrible aftertaste. So, please tell me that's not sushi from a gas station. We may have our first throw up on the podcast. No. He's holding it in. Mm-mm. He's holding it in. I got it. It's done. That has to be one of the worst things I've ever had in my entire life. That is a Greek food called damaldes or grape leaves. So, what was wrapped around the outside was actually a leaf off a grapevine. Huh. And they stuff it with like rice and stuff. Yeah. That's, that's why I got the sushi vibe. It's, but it's Greek. Yeah, I mean so, it was good. I mean the first, I'm sure, the first bite was horrendous. I'm sure Jesus was, you know, first bite he, was horrendous. After when he was just walking good. along the road and there were some grapevines, he probably just reached over, grabbed some leaves, and ate. He's it. Jesus. He could look at rocks and say <laughs> bread, <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't. Okay, so number seven. Sorry, people, banging around the mics here. What, what? number seven? Oh no! Oh yeah. Got the chopsticks, so no, it's okay. This is, oh, there it goes. Oh, you gotta oh, eat it. Five, five, second, gotta roll. Eat it. five second roll. Gotta eat it. Five second roll. Five second roll. Virus. Maybe bringing chopsticks was not the best idea. Now <laughs> this might honestly be gas station sushi. No, oh, I'm scared. I'm not a big fan of sushi in general. I, I'm scared. Seafood yeah. or any vegetables. So, mm. so you guys eat it first, and then I'll just kind of the avocado in there. Say how scared oh, I, I think am. It is. Salmon, avocado, and what if it's wasabi? Mm. Wasabi. Yeah. I'll let, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll down I'll, the hatch, buddy. I can't, bud. Oh, <laughs> I should stop using these. No, nah, dude, you're you're oh. cultured. This kid. Oh, look at that. All right, here we go. It's going so, down the hatch. So, Seth, how old are you? Twelve. I'm fifteen. You're fifteen. How many fifteen-year-olds would do what he just did? That's Probably a lot. That's brave. I've seen fifteen-year-olds eat dirt off the ground just for fun, just to make people laugh. My. <laughs> my my taste buds are confused as to what that is. Mm. I genuinely it I genuinely have no guess. I don't. Anyone likes that, I despise you. I don't hate it tastes, <clears throat> tastes like nothing. So that actually is that actually is sushi. There is a from a gas station? tuna. No, from Wegmans actually. So uh, well, there's just, tuna, just salmon. Better. That's cucumber. There cucumber. was some avocado. I did uh, taste a cucumber in there. And this one's wrapped yeah, I, in like a rice paper. But there that you looks go. like plastic. <laughs> All right, what else we got? Okay, so we got uh, we got a couple more. This producer lady really goes all out. I was really this. excited for this thing. I went, oh, I'll find some really nice things I'll actually enjoy. I'm having uh, a great hasn't happened yet. Mm-hmm. I mean, another rinse. That's a good idea. I completely forgot that was a thing. I don't know. I don't know what's in this packet. Take one, pass it down. What is it? Steve, would you like me to have one of them? I absolutely, yeah. I would love for so you. I'll eat the most of these because because yep, you know what it is. No, I'm afraid to touch it. <laughs> oh, what is with this smell? Mm. Mm. You like that? Down the hatch. He said, mm. Mm-mm. "That's good stuff That's right bad. there." That's not bad. Wow, tastes a lot better than it looks. Yeah, that is a roasted garlic. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Garlic. Garlic. No biggie. And then last but not least. Oh, what? <gasps> <laughs> he goes, oh. Ooh. Hmm. See that, people? What? That. This is... looks like something that would poison you in the ocean if you step on it. Ah. You just take a bite out of the middle? Ouch. Oh. Yo, Loki, that actually kind of hurt. It's like frankly on this. Hey, oh, that doesn't smell bad. Look at that. It's like an orange. If oranges had like self-defense. Yeah. If there's like an orange was a sea urchin. How are, how are we supposed to eat this? 
I'm guessing is it, not oh, with is chopsticks. This a sea you cucumber? definitely don't eat the outside. Is this a sea cucumber? I don't know. Hmm. That's my guess. He's got the list. My guess is this is just like a... Oh. Do you ever see like annoying orange videos? Mm -hmm. This is like angry orange. That's what, that's what this is. All right. Wow. I'm going to use the spoon for this. That reminds me of pumpkin. Hmm. I should bite. It wasn't big. Just got the seeds out. It's like pumpkin seeds okay. when they fall out on you. I'm just going to... Oh, wash that down with a cracker. Good idea, Seth. Hmm. What do you think, Drew? I think it needs another bite. <laughs> it's it's confusing. It, it I don't know. It's 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 confusing. I don't know. So that is a kiwano fruit. You eat with the spoon. Oh, that's what this, <laughs> that's what the spoons are for. <laughs> like, why don't you give us spoons? We don't need no spoons here. <laughs> All right, and last but not Wait, least, how do you eat this with a spoon? Wait, I refuse oh. to believe this is how you eat this with a spoon. I think this is a type take, of bean. Take one, pass it down. All right, we're on our last item, people. Uh, that's not okay. I know what this is. I believe. So down the hatch. Looks like a kidney. Yeah, kidney bean. Mm. That's what I was thinking. Looks like a kidney. Well, some sort of bean. I can't pick it up with a chop. A nephron. Mm. A nephron. What is? The, why, they all smell the same to me. They're all like dipped in the same sauce or something. That was definitely the worst tasting one. So actually, she did not write this one on the list because she had the number. She had two number nines. Call. But I'm pretty sure she told me that that was a lima bean. Lima bean. <clears throat> that was disgusting. Mm, That's just, the only one on that there that I could I'm say. I was the only one that raw didn't fruit real finish quick. everything. Mm, raw fish. Down the hatch. Down the hatch. Okay. Well, that was awesome. So there you go. Why don't you throw all your garbage in there? <laughs> yes, sir. They stole my chopsticks. And we'll have our production crew carry this away. <laughs> yeah. Ah! Seth, that's your tissue, so I will let you yes, grab that. Yeah, in this I'm current environment, we can't touch each other's you tissues. I, here, throw them in there. I'm, a, I'm yeah. keeping this. He's keeping it. He needs it. Now's the perfect time to like and subscribe. Wow. So, so what'd you think of that, Seth? Does it make you less of a hater or more of a hater? I hate you guys now. <laughs> I waited until you had that cracker in your mouth to ask that question. So, that's like every waiter ever. Yeah. Or like waitress. How's the food? Mm -hmm. I tell you, if my <laughs> mouth wasn't. How's the food? <laughs> I think they do that. I would do that on purpose if I was a server. Yeah. That'd be fun. I wonder if Mr. Joey Young does that. Ooh. Oh, we just let a little bit of information out. People are going to know now that somewhere in the United States, Joey Young is a professional eater. Professional server. Professional eater. <laughs> <laughs> professional eater. <laughs> Jack of all trades. <laughs> he did tell us that he worked at Subway. Subway. Yeah. I wish they brought back the $5 footlongs. You know, but six dollar footlongs are just at this not point. I'll take five dollar rolls of toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so at this point in time, we're going to move into a little theology because Seth and I have had some talks off screen. Really? About nice. In particular, I'm gonna learn the Book of Job. Job. Seth, Seth was just telling me about Job. Uh, 40, Job, Job 40, 40, 15 through 19. 15 yes. through. Wow. Listen to this guy. He's Look got at it memory. This guy. Got it memorized. Yeah. So what's memory? I'm gonna go to Job. Look at these 40, guys on their phones during 15. a conversation. Okay, because this is where my Bible. Bible. Number verse fifteen, Job forty, verse fifteen. Take a look at the behemoth which I made, just as I made you. It eats grass like an ox. See its powerful loins and its muscles of its belly. Its tail is as strong as a cedar. I don't know that word, so I'm going to skip it. Its bones are tubes <laughs> of brawn. Its limbs are bars of iron. It's a perfect example of God's handiwork, and only its creator can threaten it. So, in my Bible, I can click on the behemoth word. Behemoth. And it says, the identification of behemoth is disputed ranging from an earthly creature to a mythical sea monster in ancient literature. So... What does that sound like to you, Drew? Sounds like dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. And like, yeah, like the Loch Ness Monster mm -hmm. and stuff. I'm not saying the Loch Ness Monster was ever real, but... 
Also, That's what it sounds like. Uh, the, the dinosaur is like most commonly known besides the T Rex and Velociraptor is the Bronchosaurus, which is the big one with the long neck and long tail. I'm guessing that's mm, what that's talking about. That's pretty nuts. <clears throat> and back then, do you think they believed in dinosaurs and stuff like that? It's kind of freaky. Because, like, I'll admit, I read the story of Job, but I never read the whole book of Job. I just know the, the story of Job. And that makes me want to read it. And that's that's kind of awesome, actually. That makes me, like, really happy. That kind of, like, makes yeah. my, my day a little bit. Because that's... I mean, honestly, I mean... If, we believe that God created everything and with, there's actually, they're finding bones of, yeah. you know, there it is. Dinosaurs. I mean, I think God made them. I, I don't, there it is. I mean, so if they're there, there you go. I mean, yeah. And that's, wow. That's, that, yeah, that's sick. <laughs> that's awesome. So, so Seth, is that your favorite, favorite thing then? Um, it's one of my favorites. You have like, verses. You, have, you have another one that you know, or just, just the, the shortest general. verse in the Bible. I can't remember what it is exactly. Just Jesus wept. Just because it's two words is my favorite. Oh, hey, word. That's, that's a respect. Because I don't like to read. Yeah. That's one of the verses I knew when I was. That's more than that. I could memorize that one. <clears throat> What's that? Jesus. Weep it? Weep it. Weapon. Weapon. So. Uh, it sounds like Bugs <clears throat> Bunny and that, that Elmer Fudd. That, that, that Wabbit. <laughs> Waskly Wabbit. Yeah. Waskly. Sorry, I know that was off track. So, I'm going to. um. I'm gonna stop real quick. We're gonna stop because we gotta do the, the oh, start gotta, stop thing. We gotta do the thing. We gotta do the thing. There's a thing. There's a thing. Commercial. Be right back. Follow us on all social medias. Well, then, not me. I'm yes, you're part of us. You're Look a subscriber. At that. Even our haters are promoting us. You That's guys awesome. Someone has to. If you're if you're a subscriber, you're part of us. That's just how it is. So I promote us very well. One of the things. I mean, I don't even know what to look up on social media. Instagram is at the underscore borderline underscore theology <laughs> podcast or something like that. Yeah. It'll be floating. We're going to float it right over Seth's face <laughs> right. right here. Um, one of the things I want to bring up is uh, like a little devotional thing. This book is called Behind the Music, and it was written, well, compiled by two two girls that were sisters, Rachel Winters and Rebecca Winters. They used to go to tons of concerts, Christian concerts, and go backstage, meet the bands and all the stuff. And they had this idea, like, what if we got, <coughs> we talked to all these bands and got them each to write, like, one devotion, um, hmm. you know, and we'll put That's the, cool that put they a, listen. Yeah. Yeah. So, yes. all kinds of different Christian groups are here. The one I was reading the other day was Skillet. Great band. Seth, are you familiar band. with Skillet? I am familiar with Skillet. Skillet's a pretty cool band. Actually, they have they have some like they ask general questions like, how'd you get started? All this stuff. How did the band meet and form? The band met in Memphis, Tennessee, and started at our church so we could play at some outreaches. We were not planning on being a professional band, but God had other plans. We were all from different bands when we started, which is why we called the group Skillet. It was like cooking, taking all the different things and ingredients and throwing them together. That's awesome. Into a skillet. That's, yeah, that's really that's good, cool. actually. So for those of you that didn't know where the you know band name Skillet came from. But anyway, so their devotion in this particular one was basically all about carving out some time to... Uh, to you know, read the Bible, spend time in prayer with God, all that stuff, which you can do at any age. <clears throat> you can be a boomer and you can do it, you know, what? when I sit in my recliner, I can do it. Or Seth is 15. I am 15. That's and, lit. And you actually, like, you're the one that told me about the whole, like, Job 40, 15. Yeah, that's awesome. Because that was the first time that I, I heard it. So, but yeah, that's. So I don't know if, like, you know, in between, like, you know, Minecraft matches or when you fit it in. <laughs> Look at this dude. Middle of the night. Oh, no. So, yeah, there's fans outside. Yeah. Cops. T yeah. TMZ. Yeah. So, anyway, so do you, so let's just ask the question. Ideally, if I had, if, if every day was like perfect for me, I would start my day off like when I first woke up, but it doesn't always work that way. Like, how about you, Seth? Is there a certain time of day you like to do some of the stuff? Uh, when I get home, 
And yeah, in between matches. Really, in between yeah. matches? Uh, not Minecraft matches. I don't really lose in Minecraft. But... You haven't played Drew's dad in <laughs> Minecraft. Word. <laughs> <laughs> His dad is the master of Minecraft. Master. How about you, Drew? Is there a certain time of day I, that you like I, to try to carve out? Or it's see, I'm I get distracted by things <laughs> easily, as you know. So you're obviously not getting distracted by watching our podcast because no, but you um, don't watch so our podcast. What I do is like if I have time in the morning because I try to I try to get up early in the morning and I either spend it at the gym or watching Stephen Furtick or other preachers that I like to watch. But when I do study the Bible, it's either in the morning and I'll have them on in the background as background noise. Mm-hmm. Because if I don't have that, then I'll be picking everything off the wall. Yep. Like, oh, like now I got to do dishes or now I got to do this. So um, it reminds you like, no, this is your. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So like today, uh, like today when I was reading, it was like, oh, I threw 10 hours of acoustic guitar music on YouTube on my TV and just let it play. And then I, I read the Bible that way. For 10 hours? Yes. No, <laughs> no. Wow. No, but uh, yeah, so for me, it's literally any time throughout the day. Yep. But um, since my work schedule recently changed, it's going to be, it's going to be morning. Nice. Um, but yeah, recently it's, it's literally just been like any time hmm. I'm just kind of sitting around, like, yeah, I should read it. Okay. Let's, let's read it. And then, and then I read it. So. so let's ask the next question. Do you have like a set thing you do or like like Seth, let's ask you, like when you read that thing out of Job, were you just kind of searching for stuff about dinosaurs no. or did you randomly just jump to Job or like, how did you come across that? This is actually an interesting story. I wasn't reading the Bible during this. I was on my bed scrolling through TikTok mm. and then this TikToker comes up. He's like, dude, check this out. There's some cool things about the Bible that people don't know about. Like for instance, Job 40, 15 through 19 and blah, blah, blah. He said other Versus, I was like, I'm interested, so I looked it up, and I figured this out. I was like, wow, this is cool, because that means dinosaurs are this. They had germs back then. The rock, the world's whatever. Yeah. That's awesome. That's that. That's how you found it. That's actually really mm-hmm. cool. I don't go on TikTok. I'm messing out. I, that's what I hear. I had vines. Wait, so. do we need Vine. a TikTok channel? No. Yes, do you we? do. Yes, you do. Mm-hmm. I'm not, you blow apparently, up. people we'll, are we'll reaching, about it. They're reaching the youth through we'll TikTok. You, you can take my channel. Yeah, uh, you got uh, a channel. I do have a channel. Do you do you do dances like the Fortnite I dances? I don't dance oh, actually. Doesn't. Oh, what? No, what? I don't dance. I have twenty seven hundred. Uh, wait, wait until we followers. dance in teen group. Wait, it's wait, be wait, great. Wait. So we have twenty subscribers and you have twenty seven hundred uh, followers. Yeah. Dude, shout us out! <laughs> think this guy oh would shout us out. God. You think he'd be like, like, you think what, he'd be like was, what do you want me to say? I think, hate this channel. Go, 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 go <laughs> yeah, because then people. Like, would, so if you said you hated it, they totally go check it out. Yo, look at these bums. <laughs> not, not everyone that gets subscribed to sees everything I post. Um, um, yeah, it's, they don't still, even, uh, but yeah, that's pretty yeah, amazing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer that question that, that you asked him. Yes, for me. And a lot of times I sit down and like so when I first started reading the Bible, I straight up I was I talked about this before. Super anxious guy, so I straight up just googled what does the Bible say about anxiety, and then I read yeah. from whatever Google gave me. I'm like mm-hmm. oh, Google says this verse says that, so I'll read a little bit before and yep. a little bit after. And then I was like, I was going to read Matthew. And then I was like, we read Romans at a Bible study. Yeah. And now it's <clears> just like, if I sit down, I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to read this book. I try to do start until finish, but I get off track and I lose sight. And then I just completely start something else. Yeah. And then I realize, oh man, I forgot about that. I didn't finish that. So then I go back. So my notes are very, very jumbled. But you try, like in general, you try to pick a book of the Bible and I try get, to get through. I try it. to pick a book and and get through it. Now, like James, James was a book that I read through. Yeah, because James is it's pretty short. James was short, but it was also very important. It's only like five chapters, I think, right? Yeah, but they smack you around. James is like James was hardcore. Like, James was very important for for me when I when I read it at the time. Yeah, so that's that's why I read that front to back, and I, and First Peter I also read consistently. Yep. So I have to get better at consistently reading books of the Bible altogether, mm-hmm. but eventually I, I do get, I do get through them, Yeah, but I'm very, I'm very jumbled. Yeah. So I, the, I pick things. So the James thing, like whenever I feel like I need a good spiritual slap, I go read James. Go read James. Cause, and then he like, he starts the whole thing off, like consider it pure joy whenever crap happens to you. And it's like, what? And you're like, what? Huh? Yeah. And then he just goes on from there to just slap people around. Like, yeah. 
Smart. And this dude. was Jesus' brother. Yeah. I mean, he's got, um, I guess he's got to be smart. You know. And you're Joey Young's brother. Uh, so some would say the more talented. Man, yes. <laughs> Ooh. <gasps> Ooh, shots fired. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> so, so Seth, what, like, how do let's you know we talked about this an episode ago or so. Our country is currently going a little crazy right Seth. now. Yes. With this whole coronavirus thing. So what's let's let's get a fifteen year old's perspective on the world right now. So. I couldn't care less about the coronavirus. <laughs> Honestly, it's just a it's just publicity that makes everybody like, oh wow, it's so bad. It's the mm -hmm. news. But it attacked me personally where I I had a trip that I worked for for my school to go on. I my parents, not me, paid $113 for me to go on. I just 117. found out. $117. <laughs> I just found, <laughs> found out recently. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just found out recently it got canceled. And so he was gonna go on a trip. To New York City, class trip, <laughs> boom, Kansas. Watch Broadway <laughs> they're, and they're, go to a wax museum. They're about to, to quarantine that. Yeah. So uh, they, they don't want to go there. I wouldn't even, yeah, that's a rough yeah. gig. That's a, that's a rough gig. Mm. But. Uh, good. I'm glad I'm glad we got that perspective because that's like, a, people are freaking out. It's good to know that the younger generation doesn't care at all. No. <laughs> no cares. <laughs> yeah. So like, so what other things like. As it relates, like as a fifteen-year-old today, like what are some things that you feel like youth groups ought to do more of oh. and ought to do less of? Ask the children. There's nothing more about it. Like you, you want to change something that's drastic? Ask the children first. Like my church recently separated the high school and middle school, which some churches do that. I personally don't like it, and so don't other people. And I don't really see the purpose of it. Teachers do, but if they asked us, we get a better perspective and stuff like that. Maybe they hmm. would be like, why would you do this? And my youth group right now is not the best youth group. Shots fired. But <laughs> <laughs> um, things are getting... I, well, Drew, I, I, I lead that. Drew <laughs> runs it. So <laughs> since you hate our podcast, of course you're going to hate Drew's youth group. I, I will say I, I wasn't in there a lot, but I will be in the coming... The coming... I think that's really the, good advice. In the foreseeable right. future. Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely good to listen to to you guys. I mean, that's that's a big thing that I've try to make sure that, that I do personally because you guys, your opinions do matter. You know what I'm saying? The way that you guys think of things and the way that you guys see things is important. And that's the kind of environment that at least when I lead, I, I want to have because I want you guys to tell me stuff. You know what I mean? I want you guys to tell me how you're feeling or if you if you don't like this or if you feel uncomfortable about this situation, even though it may not relate to church, I want to create that environment that you guys can come to me because at the end of the day, I'm there to help you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. So kind of that's the that's the vibe that I'm shooting for more in the in the future is creating that kind of positive environment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think that's important for for youth leaders is to to understand, you know, your kids. <laughs> it's, yeah. I but feel bad. So, but the weird thing is, I find like because you're actually a high schooler, I am, and you actually were wishing the middle school was still with you guys. Yes. Because usually once you get to high school, you're like, I don't want to mess with the little kids. I want to be up in the yeah. big kid, but. But you actually would have I'd liked the group. Rather scores with us, yes. Mm. That's yeah, and that's that's a that's good to know because I would I, intuitively I would have thought high schoolers didn't want middle scores around. And I think it's yeah, and I think it's more on a, a class to class basis. I don't know how many youth leaders are watching us, but that's like a great example. Um, based on the numbers, lots like one or two, <laughs> one or two, <laughs> <laughs> one being Drew and oh well, wait, Drew doesn't watch us. So. <laughs> That's I watch five percent. I watch us. <laughs> um, but, another thing is, teachers will treat us like we're four. Like mm. I go to a public school, some people don't really care about that. But I will hear things, I'll see things that like it's, it's not that big of a deal. Um, they treat us like we're four, like we can't handle ourselves. Yeah. Recently, mm. I went to a hockey game, and if you we had to be with somebody else to go walk less than ten yards to, to the bathroom, mm. and like we get in trouble for it. But, but you're a good looking, good looking kid. Like somebody may nab you. And... I'm pretty sure I can pee, pee by myself. I'm pretty skilled. I don't know. I still bring Joe Young with me. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Young, will you go to the bathroom with me? <laughs> He's gonna hate me. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I mean, like I said, a lot of that stuff, it it just it comes with with just time because yeah. I know. Um, and yeah, I mean, we're we're taking steps to you know yeah. change, but you know, change doesn't happen overnight 
Right. That's, that's but I think things. it's like that's just like really good insight. Yeah, so, like, I mean, it's, it's it's fantastic insight. That's definitely like we already I already knew that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's it's important to get to know who who you're with and the, how everybody feels, and that's that's that goes back to the culture that that you create, and that goes to you know how you conduct yourself as a as a leader in that that sense and yeah that's something that i know a very small amount about leading teens in church um leading wise i'm i was a pretty good leader with anything that that i've done so i kind of get that and i watch a lot of leaders via you know either if they're a football coach or they do this like i mm-hmm. like to watch documentaries on how they how they led and how they did certain things my brother is a teacher yep so i get tips from him uh how to do that which is you know that's a great resource to use so i think that just being there Overall, it's kind of the most important thing that that I I yeah. try to try to do and try to yeah. create that environment, which is weird because I know when I was a teen, I didn't listen to a thing that anybody ever said. Right. So like, <laughs> I still don't. <laughs> Ask my wife. <laughs> so, so one of the things like as as an almost boomer, I would think if I was designing a youth group, I would be like, okay, we'd have some hang time or some game time. And then we do some things and make kids eat bugs or something like that. And then like try to work in a message at the end. Like, is that something kids what do like, do you guys want like some like hang time? I just remember like there was not too long ago, Seth, you went to a different church, like to their youth group and you came back and you were like, wow, I, I like want to learn about the Bible. They talked about the Bible. <laughs> it was like, good. And I was like, oh, do they not talk about the Bible at our youth? But I mean, it's just, it it's you know, I mean, you just, you definitely had an experience where you thought like, like yeah, it was better. It was better. There were some elements that were, you know what I mean? So we can all learn and grow, but like, what yeah. would, what would be like your ideal format for like a youth group meeting? Um, like is hang time important? For the uh, hang time, more or less, not really, but like getting to know the kids and having the kids be happy and not. Like, and that's, and that's what, that's teachers. what that is. Yeah. Right. Or is there like, do you like, should there be like outings like for bowling and all this other stuff where you really yeah. get to know everybody? Yeah. So that way, yeah. when you all get together at youth group, you can like just kind of sort of dive into more other stuff. Or... Yeah. And I think that it's, it's important to know that, I mean, it's important for all of us, all of us to know that it depends on the situation that you're in at church. So, uh, so we actually have a lot of stuff in the, in the works, right? But it's hard since we only started a couple months ago, right? Yeah. So we're not, and not saying that, it's not an excuse as to why we're not where we are. But I want you to to not get discouraged when I say that there, yeah. there is stuff in motion. Because that was something that I was like, man, like, is this ever going to get better? And I was the leader. I was like, is this ever going to get better? But then, you know, you take a step back and you talk to folks that are, you know, in charge because I'm not in charge. I'm just one of the leaders. And then you talk to folks about things and you realize that, you know, it's not your plan. It's kind of like a one-sided thing. So I will say that it sounds bad. There are a lot of things in motion. So just yep. patience is a big thing. But that's, I mean, hopefully, I mean, hopefully you could be. It's hard. Yeah. It's hard. I'm and not some... gonna, I'm not going to stand here and I'm not going to sit here and say that it's not hard to be patient because it is because you want something to be fun and you want something to be awesome and to to act like you shouldn't just get frustrated. It's like, no, like you're human. You're going to yeah. get frustrated. Yeah. That's yeah. that's how it is. I'm not going to lie yeah. and say that I'm perfect. I get frustrated over little things all the time. Like if my shoes aren't the right way by the door, <laughs> like that's how it is. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, okay. Um, so yeah, that's literally all we can, all we can do. And that's, that's a big yeah. message for anybody is you don't really see it. But I would challenge you, Seth, like, yeah, let your voice be heard, like in a nice way then, to your to your leaders, but be like, hey, I think it'd be awesome if we tried this or if we tried that. Like, because I mean, I think if they're not asking the question, I know Drew is going to be asking the question if he yeah. doesn't already. But like, you know, like, what do you guys want? Like, make sure you you let them know because yeah, I think that's and, important. And that's that's kind of something that I I know that I've been trying to grow as as a leader as well, because this is an experience for me just as much as it is for any of the the teenagers that sit in and listen. And it's, you know, we're all growing together. And one of those things is I'm trying to create that environment where we could be open and answer those, those kind of questions. Because when I say, I genuinely want to know what you guys, like when I say, I want to know what you guys think, I genuinely mean it. Like, I'm not just saying that because we're sitting there and I have nothing else to say. It's like, no, I'm actually interested to see what you guys are doing. Cause then that kind of gives me feedback as well. Yeah. As to where I should take things or what we should talk about, or if, or if, she w- or if we should back up because not that you may have missed it, but you may have misunderstood something that I may have said. 
So all that all that kind of stuff goes goes into it. Because at the end of the day, it also comes down to if you're a leader of, of any kind is genuinely caring. You know what I mean? We have to yeah. genuinely care. And that's just that's people in general, which again, it's hard. <laughs> it's it's a, it's a weird thing. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Yeah. Yeah. Saw it on a bumper sticker. It's on a bumper <laughs> sticker. Steve wouldn't know that. He doesn't put bumper stickers on Ferraris. I mean, it wasn't on my car, but I saw it. It wasn't on, it wasn't on his Ferrari. It, was on it wasn't on else's. my Hyundai. Yeah. So, uh, so there you go. I mean, I think this was good. Yeah. You know, and I like how you like carve out time wherever in between, you know, matches on Xbox or. Yeah. I mean, that's, um, in the times where you at least expect it, sometimes it's the most. No, the skillet guys, just to wrap this up for the last year, and this is probably a couple of years ago, skillet has enforced the mandatory 20. This is time specifically set aside to simply fellowship with God, not a Bible study, just some time to be with them. And we do it every morning before we see each other as a band, regardless if we're leaving at 3 a.m. or 12 p.m. We just really try to carve out that time, which I thought was cool because, I mean, these guys on the road. They're rocking out, yeah. They're rocking. But it's like to carve out that mandatory, hey, like, hey, everybody in the band's got to do like, you know, have 20 minutes with God before we even see you for breakfast or whatever. Yeah. So, um, but cool. Yeah. Nice. So, Seth, what? I mean, are you still a hater now? Yes. Are you going to hate us less? <laughs> yes. Even more. What a I guy. Mean, are it's, you going to? Are you even going to tell any of your friends about this episode so Pop, they can probably, all like it? Yeah. Actually. Nice. For those who don't know, they forced me to be here. They practically begged me on their knees, telling me to join. I basically said I'm taking away the Wi-Fi password until. <laughs> Oh, you are that's a guest cruel, on the show. dude. Come I mean, on. that's that's how I roll. That's how I get guests on the show. Dang. It you really know? do be like, I have people that have <laughs> <I'm getting paid. laughs> It's okay. We're not either. Uh, <laughs> Patreon. 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 <laughs> it's not even set up yet. Um, <laughs> we do have some guests interested in being on the show. So we while, do. while we, we wrap do. it up, yeah. listen, if you actually want to be on the show, let me and Steve know via email, Instagram, comment in section? person, comment section. Comment section. Which is like I'm going to start commenting underneath the table. If no one else is, I'm going to start doing it. I'm going to do like a hundred different comments. Seth is going to comment how much he hates us. <laughs> I, but I think it was like episode four or five. Steve said the, uh, he just found out the comments were disabled. I told him that. I wanted he did. To, I he wanted, wanted to, to comment, comment how bad the, the <laughs> was at the short and the intro. Because at the time, well, it was like 45 seconds. Because I actually, when you, when you post to YouTube, it says, is this for kids? And I was like, there's nothing on our show that's bad for kids. So I'm like, sure, it's for kids. And as soon as you do that, it disables, oh, it disables the, comments. the comments. So you have to say, no, it's not for kids. Check our, <laughs> so what you're saying is check our channel out on the YouTube Kids app. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so I have gone through and I've reset all the videos. So you can comment. You can go back. You know, back that thing up. Go back to episode one. And... <laughs> <laughs> it's in our promo video if you would have saw it, but you didn't see it. I so. didn't see it. I'll so, have to, I'll, I'll but have to watch I am it. really th- Seth. Hopefully, we can have you back on here because um, what a fella! I, I'm thinking Drew's going to incorporate some of your th- suggestions and make youth group better. I think yeah, also, and a lot of those were also. Bef- actually, before you even said a lot of those, I already knew it. Yeah. It was already in my yeah. head. So it's good that we're on the same page because that's. That's how change starts. And apparently, youth group really likes chicken nuggets. Is there something about chicken Very nuggets? Oh, nuggets are who dope. doesn't like chicken? Yeah, nuggies. Who doesn't like chicken nuggets? nuggies? Nuggets. That's. Dope. I mean, the baby Yoda memes. It's the child. It's not baby Yoda. Yeah, it the baby Yoda memes. <laughs> I'm sorry. It took, it took place after episode six, so therefore he's dead. Not baby well, Yoda. spoilers. Oh my god! I never saw it, but I'm, <laughs> I may never see it. Drew's Spoilers. never seen any of the Star Wars, so I've seen the Star Wars. I just can't quote every line of every. Second. <laughs> I can. Which of the Star Wars have you seen, Drew? Uh, the first three ever made, and then I saw the Force Four Awakens. No way! So, uh, so you've seen some movies? Yeah, the Force you Awakens. Know, you know the, the joke. The joke Luke, of my entire lifetime. Father. Like you know what that is. The yeah. joke of my entire lifetime was stolen from me watching the Force Awakens. Last story before we go. Yeah. But we're on the bus, and in high school, I didn't talk to no bikes except for my, my couple of friends. So we're on a bus trip coming back from Six Flags mm-hmm. in Jersey. So um, they put Why on are the- you asking f- us? I think it's Jersey. I was just looking. So- oh, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> It's like we don't know. <laughs> yes, it was Jersey. I remember that trip. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, fo- Steve followed me at a very young age. So anyway- That's Joey Young. <laughs> so, it's like what I do to Joe Young. So anyway, <laughs> so- it's <laughs> focus okay so focus we're on the <laughs> we're on the bus and uh bb8 
Oh yeah. He rolls in the screen. And uh, I, I look at my buddy, I go, man, the new Wally looks dope. <laughs> 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 and, and, and he says louder, hey, the new Wally looks dope. <laughs> and the whole the whole bus, like people that were like the cool kids, like bust out, laugh like the entire oh, bus. Yeah. And you're like, and oh, you're like, that stole was my, my joke. He stole my joke. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, joke in my career that I, I never made. But now, yeah. now I made it. See, and now I feel bad because knowing that that's like this painful part of your past. And when I go, didn't see you there. And that was your line. And I'm like, I'm, it's. I know. Gosh, there's this. Drew needs an appreciation. <laughs> man. Comment below. Hashtag Drew's life matters. Hashtag Drew appreciation day. On that note, I'm Drew. I'm Steve. And I'm Seth. And thanks for coming on and stay classy, Seth. Stay classy. Yeah, you too.